Hi, this is Holly Russell, second grade teacher from Paradise Canyon Elementary, and today I'm going to show you how to use the expand and trade subtraction strategy from Unit 9 of Everyday Math, working with base 10 models. Now this might seem a bit time consuming, but students can actually visually see what trades they're making in these numbers. You'll want to check out my video on base 10 shorthand before watching. So to start with, I have the problem 68 minus 17, and I'm going to represent the top number 68 using base 10 shorthand. And looking at the number that I need to subtract, I'm going to go ahead and take away 17, which is one group of 10 and seven ones. I'm going to represent that by crossing my model out. So I'm going to take away one group of 10 and seven ones. Looking at what I have left, my difference, I have five groups of 10 and one cube to make a difference of 51. Looking at a problem with a three-digit number, I'll go ahead and represent 143 using base 10 shorthand. And I'm going to go ahead and subtract 65. But I notice I have a problem here. I can't take away six groups of 10. I only have four. And I can't take away five ones because I only have three of them. So I'm going to make some trades here. I'm going to start by trading this flat, a group of 100, for 10 groups of 10. That should fix my problem with subtracting six groups of 10, but I still need to replace a group of 10 with some more ones. So I'm going to take away a group of 10 and replace it with 10 ones. Now I should be ready to go ahead and subtract. So I'm going to be taking away six groups of 10 and five ones. Let's take a look at what I have left. I'm going to use a different color so we can see. I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 71, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 143 minus 65 equals a difference of 78. Thanks for watching.